Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OCVarsity.com for a look at what's going on in girls basketball this week. Carlos Arias here with Steve Fryer. Carlos, we had a ton of upsets in girls basketball last week. Edison lost. Braille lost at Canyon. It was just a crazy week for the rankings and trying to figure out what's going on. Are these teams that are looking ahead to the playoffs, or is this just they ran into some good teams that played great on that particular night? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what this was. This was like the godfather, and Michael Corleone was taking care of all family business. It was just executions everywhere. It was crazy. I mean, uh, first Canyon knocks off number two Edison, or uh, number two Brea. Yeah. You think, oh, okay, you know, what else could happen? Huntington Beach breaks Edison's 46-game league-winning streak. Uh, then you have the, the ultimate game of all, number one and two in the state, Winward against Mater Day and the extravaganza. And... You know, the game lives up to all the hype, but modern day comes up a little short. But it was a fantastic week. Um, in total, six of the top ten teams in the county went down. <laughs> so, yeah. so does this mean modern day sleeps with the fishes like Luca Brazzi? Are they going to be able to come back and uh, get over this big loss to Winward, which was a tight game. It was a great game. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think modern day is going to, you know, take any kind of hits at all from this because they're just going to pick themselves up. Naira Fields is fantastic. I mean, you know, she's what a great you lose Kalina Mosqueda Lewis and you get Naira Fields to yeah. play with Jordan Adams, two national team members. I mean, that's that's ridiculous. So they're going to be ready for the playoffs, believe me. But Division One AA is like the WNBA. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, another girl that I want to talk about, too, is Kelsey Monado yeah. over at Huntington Beach. Fantastic game in that upset over Edison. She had 31 points, uh, four three pointers. You know, she dishes the ball. She rebounds. She does everything for that team. So, you know, the, the Edison coach, Dan Wiley, you know, emailed me and he goes, this girl's got to be your player of the week. She yeah. is fantastic. She killed us, you know, and so that, that's pretty impressive when, you know, an opposing coach has that many nice right. things to say. Yeah. And indeed, Monado was a girls basketball athlete of week for sure. Now, is there a team underneath like that's kind of bubbling under that people got to be aware of that, you know, this is a team because the playoffs start next week. Is there a team out there that we didn't mention that you got to keep an eye on this team come playoff time, man? Yeah, you know, the, the team that I really like heading into the playoffs is El Toro. Yeah. They've only got a couple of losses. They avenged uh, uh, one of them, and they split with Canyon in, the, in, in their two games. So, I mean, that's a team that's on fire. they got Allison Doherty. She's probably the best big girl in the county. Um, you know, great moves inside the post. Uh, Whitney Williams, she's an outstanding young uh, – she's a junior point guard. This girl can do it all. She's super fast. She makes big plays. So I really, I really like El Toro going into the playoffs. All right, El Toro's a team to watch. I know we saw them over at Laguna Hills a couple weeks ago. <laughs> they impressed the heck out of me, too. So that's what's going on this week in girls basketball. Uh, the playoffs are just around the corner, finishing up some league business this week here at OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered.